Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be teaching you how to download and install Mystical Agriculture in Minecraft 1.14.4. Mystical Agriculture is actually a really, really cool mod, I'm not going to lie. Like, it is really, really cool. And it adds all sorts of awesome stuff. As you can see, there are tons of resources and things. And as you can see, it's all like laid out here. Mob drops, everything that you can get. We've got five custom or five tools slash armor tiers. We've also got tons of cool, fun stuff there. So there's all sorts of stuff that is required for, or not required, but included in this mystical agriculture mod first tour i've ever done on them many to many like mods catch my attention right early on right and i can get on them but this thing got almost 20 million downloads before we got around to doing our first tutorial on it which is very very interesting so welcome to the club mystical agriculture let's go ahead and get you installed first and foremost though we do have a much more sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting you can check out apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex get an incredible 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for you and your friends we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them and you can run a mod like Mystical Agriculture on Apex Minecraft hosting without any issues, in addition to tons of other mod packs. But nevertheless, if you are looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends, Apex Minecraft hosting is a great place to look. You can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Mystical Agriculture downloaded and installed. So the first thing you will need to do is download it, and you can find it at the second link down below. When you click on it, it will take you here, and as you can see, this is the official Mystical Agriculture download page. What we want to do is click on the bottom right here of the, the the sidebar see if you just scroll down and then you'll see like in the sidebar over here it says recent files and then you'll see minecraft 1.14 there next to our under minecraft 1.14 you'll see mystical adventures and if you kind of highlight over it you'll be able to see that it does say 1.14.4 in the title of the mod there if it does that you can go ahead and click the purple download button here and it will go ahead and start your download in five seconds now you will need to keep this file or save this file depending whether you're on google chrome or mozilla firefox on google chrome you'll keep it in the bottom left it's safe to keep as long as it says mystical agriculture in the title which ours does and then on mozilla firefox it'll be in the center of your screen asking you to save again perfectly safe to do so as long as it has mystical agriculture in the title you can click the save button there now this does require a library mod and a library mod is basically a mod that the main mod mystical agriculture pulls from to work so cucumber library is what they use here and you can find this linked in the description down below it is the third link down below and it will take you here to cucumber library's download page same process though as mystical agriculture just scroll down and then on the right hand sidebar you will see minecraft 1.14 here you want to click the purple download button next to minecraft 1.14 or not next to minecraft 1.14 next to the version under minecraft 1.14 there and then we'll go ahead and begin to download and then if we see in the bottom left right here it's safe to keep it as long as it says cucumber in the title which it does we can keep it on Mozilla Firefox, you can save it in the center of your screen. Again, as long as it does have Cucumber, a library in the title, you're safe to keep it on Mozilla Firefox. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download one more thing, and all of this works together. Mystical Agriculture works with Cucumber Library on the Forge modding platform here, and so we do need to download and install Forge. Luckily, we have an in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.14, and this is linked in the description down below. We're going to actually be going over every single step in this video, but if I do go too fast, if you get stuck, you have any issues, this article works you through some of the potential problems you may have uh, better than I'm going to do in this video because this is a dedicated article and video for it. Nevertheless, though, once you're here, it's the fourth link down below. Once you're here, click on this green Download Forge button. This will take us off to Forge's official website where we want to click on the uh, make sure that this is Minecraft 1.14.4 here. If it isn't, you want to click on the 1.14 over here in the left hand sidebar and then you want to click on 1.14 there. Then it'll say MC 1.14.4 here and you're good to go ahead and go under download latest and then click on the installer button right here. When you click on that, it will go ahead and automatically start downloading in the bottom left just like everything else we've done here. You will need to keep this file. It's safe to keep as long as it has Forge in the title. Mozilla Firefox, you know the drill at this point. Save it in the center of your screen as long as it says Forge. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And finally, on our desktop, we have Mystical Agriculture. Check. The Cucumber Library, which is required for Mystical Agriculture. Check. And we do have Forge, which is required for both of those. So let's go ahead and start off with Forge. Now, these aren't on your desktop, though. They are going to be in your Downloads folder. And you can find your Downloads folder by clicking the Windows icons in the top left of me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom or top left of your screen there. Once you click on that, go ahead and type in Downloads right like so if I can spell downloads correctly you will have this downloads file folder here go ahead and click on that and you'll find all three of these in your downloads folder drag them to your desktop just for ease of use once these are on your desktop we can go ahead and start off with forge right click on it click on open with and then you should have java tm platform sc binary 
But Nick, I don't have Java TM platform SE binary. Oh no, what do you do? It's over. No, it's perfectly fine. We got a solution, of course. You can go to the description of this video and you'll find our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers and Minecraft mods. Yes, you need the same version of Java for both. Kind of interesting. Specifically, you need the Java development kit. And this goes over how to get Java for Minecraft. And in doing so, you'll get the Java development kit. It goes through all of it. And uh, yeah, just go through this tutorial to get Java and you'll be good to go. However, if you're not good to go, you could still be having an issue. It still might not work. And to fix that, you need to run the jar fix here. And this will basically make all the .jar files work with Java once again. So it takes all the jar files, repairs them, and makes them work with Java once again. Nevertheless, at this point, we are now good to finally go ahead and right-click on Forge here. Forge, right-click on it, then click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. That will then go ahead and open up the Forge Mod System Installer, which is going to allow us to then install the MISCO Agriculture Mod. So once we're here, we want to go ahead and click on Install Client, and then click OK. And then go through, download, and install everything it needs for Forge and Minecraft 1.14. If this does fail, it's only failed because you haven't played Minecraft 1.14.4. You need to go play Minecraft 1.14.4, and then come back, and this will work perfectly fine, and um, it'll all be good, and we'll be able to install Mesco Agriculture. But now, as you can see, it's finishing up here, and when it does finish up, we will be able to see that it's successfully installed Client Profile Forge. There it is, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.14.4. Awesome. So what we love to see, that means it has worked. And again, if it hasn't, just go play Minecraft 1.14.4 and it will work. Now let's just go ahead and click OK here. And now it's time to install Mystical Agriculture and the Cucumber Library. To do this, we want to click on the uh, Windows icons in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon on the bottom left or top left. Could be in the top left for you as well. But anyway, that little Windows icon there, click on that and then go ahead and type in run, R-U-N. You'll then have this run application here. Click on that and then you'll have this text box. What do you enter in this text box? Well, percent app data percent, of course. Percent sign, app data percent sign, exactly like that. And then go ahead and click OK. It'll then open up our roaming folder here. And in here, you'll have a dot Minecraft folder. In your dot Minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Is everything okay? Yes, it is. It's perfectly fine. Calm down. We've got this. All we need to do is right click in the white space, either over here on the left hand side or just over here on the right hand side. Just right click in this white space, click on new, and then click on folder here. Then you'll have this new folder and you want to title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. If you don't title it exactly like that, it won't work. So go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. If you had one, go ahead and open that one up and then take Misco Agriculture and the Cucumber Library and drag them from your desktop into this mods folder. Now at this point, we aren't done. We still need to make sure we're opening up the correct version of Minecraft, specifically the Forge version of Minecraft. And to check this, next to the play button here, click this little arrow. Here you'll have a Forge version. As you can see, there it is. Click on that and click play if it's there. But what if it's not there? Well, no worries, we can create one. To do that, click on the Installations tab up here in the top of the Minecraft launcher, and then go ahead and create a new installation. To do this, click the plus button right here, plus new, dot, 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 see that? Click that, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have Greek Protected Survival, Custom Skyblock, two survival servers, Medieval Survival, has 25 custom quests and a player-based economy. Aquatic Survival has a slash shop-based economy and it allows for a bit more automation, a bit more looseness, and overall absolutely incredible to play on. And then we do have custom skyblock with OP enchants, incredible custom crates, and custom islands as well. Everything is really custom. Everything is perfect for you. Go play on play.breakdowncraft.com if you just want the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Under version here though, we want to click this version drop-down box, and then we want to click on release 1.14.4-forge. Now it might not be up here at the top, it might be down here as a little ways or something like that, but overall you're looking for release 1.14.4-forge. Once you found that, click on it and then go ahead and click create. I am going to change my resolution and click create there. Now we want to find the profile we created, in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com, and click the play button that appears next to it. When you click on that play button, it will now open up Minecraft 1.14.4 with the Mystical Agriculture mod installed. It also opened it up much smaller than I was expecting there. Much, much smaller. I changed my resolution. I could have swore I changed my resolution there. Oh, there it is. Okay, it was having to install some things before it opened up. That's new. It's the first time I've seen that happen. See, there's a first for everything. You know, even even me, making the tutorials, I miss things occasionally, right? We're not perfect. Everyone makes mistakes, everybody. Anyway, long story short, here we are. You weren't in this for a lesson. You just wanted to install Minecraft, didn't you? Uninstall Minecraft, install the 
mystical agriculture mod. Now, if we go ahead and click on mods here, we will have mystical agriculture right there. It is. We should also have, yes, the cucumber library because that's technically a mod, even though it's just a library mod, it's there. But mystical agriculture is our main mod here. Now, we want to go ahead and jump into single player as well just to check it out. This was a little x ray video I did. I did a video on an x ray texture pack. Who knows if that's up or, or not, but nevertheless, that's what this world was for. But we're going to use it for mystical agriculture now. Why not? So, if we jump in here, um, it, it, this, this is, this, it, hold on, let's do it. Let's do a quick jump cut until I'm on the surface level. So here we are on the surface level, and we can go ahead and hit E. And since we're in creative, we can click over and see mystical agriculture. Now, obviously, if you weren't creative, you'd have to craft and gather these things, but we are, so we can kind of skip ahead. And as you can see, there are some custom ingots here, as well as some dust and some custom nuggets and all sorts of awesome custom ores. If you're joining into an existing world, those will generate in new chunks, right? Chunks that haven't been generated before from you ever. So uh, for example, if you had even explored over here before, they wouldn't appear. You'd have to generate new chunks for that to appear. But over in this area, they'll start appearing uh, below the ground. So pretty cool stuff there. We also have some of the uh, tools here. We have the dagger. We also have the prosperity block. We have the watering can. We've got so much awesome stuff. The tinker table. All of this stuff is absolutely awesome. I am so happy to finally see some of these really, really cool mods upgrading to Minecraft 1.14. It's about time, everyone. It's about time. We can go ahead and put on these leggings there. And if we go ahead, we can see we've got the blue leggings on. Let's go ahead and throw on a green helmet, maybe. We'll do some orange boots here and get the, we'll just get this rocking. So boom, boom. And then let's go ahead and throw on a yellow chest plate because why not? There we go. Look at that. That's looking stylish, everybody. Absolutely stylish. We've also got the wand there. We've got the dagger. We've got a watering can. That's pretty cool. We've also got the tinker table. Maybe throw that down. And then we've got the inferium sword and the prudent, prudentium pickaxe. All right, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and throw down this table real quick. I don't know why, just because we can. But that is how you can get the mystical agriculture mod installed in minecraft 1.14 not yet implemented interesting so that's actually a feature that they are working on as you can see a little glitch there yes that is a pending feature but what is implemented is this for example pull tur poor turtle if we want to swipe it that we can we can also hit this i don't think i'm using that staff correctly but i know i'm using the sword correctly and that works as well as the pickaxe will work perfectly fine here we can find some stone. We're in the Sortex Fanfer uh, resource pack, by the way. I'm in creative. But if we go game mode, survival, the pickaxe does in fact work. That's actually a pretty good pickaxe. No enchantments on it or anything. Pretty fast. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.